In this video, we're going to learn more about the WYSIWYG editor built into WordPress. WYSIWYG stands for What You See is What You Get. The editor itself is called TinyMCE, and it's actually used in a wide variety of content management systems, not only WordPress. So you might see it someplace else as well. And there's actually excellent documentation on their website to learn all the details about it. But we're going to cover what it can do for you within WordPress. Here on the left end of the toolbar, you can choose what kind of text we're dealing with. Regular sized paragraph text, any of these headings, or pre-formatted text. You also don't have to highlight the entire section to have it affect it. For example, I turned this into a header size 1 just because I was clicked on it when I chose header 1. And there's header 2, 5, etc. The same holds true for bold and italics, although it affects only the word. Here we have a bulleted list option. You can click on a line and choose bulleted list and get one, and then when you hit return it starts another, and so on. You could also turn it into a numbered list, like that. You can also start a sentence with an asterisk and it will automatically turn it into a bulleted list. If you start a line with a number one and a dot and hit space, it turns it into a numbered list. The next button here is called Block Quote. It puts a block quote HTML tag around your text. Now, here in the editor, it simply makes it slightly larger and italicizes it, but your theme may render it completely different. So you want to experiment to see what this looks like before using it. You have the option to left justify text, center it, or right align it. The next button is for making a link. Now the editor has quite a few tricks up its sleeve for links. If you highlight a word and click this, then you can simply type something in and hit enter. And now it's a link. Now if you click it again, you have the option to edit it or unlink it. Now you'll note that there's a gear over here on the right. If you click that, you get a great many more options. You could still type in an address here, or you can link to some content already on your site. And you can search your entire site for all your content and link to it that way. And here you have the option to open link in a new tab. Now there's one more trick I want to show you. If you go to another site and copy its address, you can highlight a word and click paste and it magically turns that word into that link. So it doesn't replace the word with the address you copied. It makes the word a link to that address. Now this next button is for simply for removing links, which is a little redundant since you have one here as well. However, you could do something like highlight a whole block of text and remove all of the links. The next button makes a more tag. Now in WordPress, on your home page, you may see the entire post. But what if you only want a little bit of the post and then make them click to read more? That's exactly what this button does. So now on the front of the site they would only see this is my content and the read more button and they would not see this text until they clicked to go to the single page for that post. Now there's one more button here that gives us a whole new bar. Here's a button to make a horizontal line, which simply makes a visual divider. We can manage text colors. And then here we have the paste as text button, and this is important. If you simply copy some text from another web page and then paste it here, it keeps the header size, you'll see this is a header size 3, and this is a block quote. However, 
If you click Paste as Text, it says WordPress is now in plain text mode. Contacts will be pasted as plain text until you toggle this off. So now it's turned on, and now I paste again, and you'll note that it did not do anything with this text. It left it as plain. And now I can turn it off, and we're back. Now you may want to keep all those headers, and that's very useful. But during times you don't, this button can be useful. It's extra useful when copying from something like Word or Google Docs. The next button clears formatting. So if you make this one bold and this one italics and the whole thing a bulleted list, you can highlight and clear formatting. And it keeps the bulleted list, but it got rid of the bold and it got rid of the italics. The next button is for putting in special characters. These are characters not found on most American keyboards. There's the cents sign, the euro sign, pound, yen, trademark, etc. You simply click one, and there it is. Here we can decrease and increase indent. So I can highlight all of this text and indent it. And then unindent it. Here we have an undo button and a redo button. And then a keyboard shortcuts button. And these are keyboard shortcuts, exactly like it says. Remember how I showed you that you could start a line with an asterisk and it would make a bulleted list? You can do the same with a hyphen. And a numbered list works like this. You can start a block quote with this. You can start these headings with these. You can italicize, copy, select all, redo, etc. Once you start using the WYSIWYG editor a great deal, these shortcuts can save you a lot of time. Down at the bottom, you'll note that there's a word count. If this matters to you, it's pretty handy. If not, well, you don't have to use it. WordPress automatically saves drafts of your posts. This isn't part of the WYSIWYG editor. WordPress is doing it. But the information about those drafts is right here in the editor. So this draft saved at 1249, and you probably just saw a flicker that said it was saving. In the top right here, you can switch to text mode, and here we have plain HTML. If you like HTML, you can work here quite comfortably. And then you can switch back to visual. This button here is called distraction-free writing mode. And when you click it, everything else goes away until you move the mouse. Now you can move the mouse down into your editor, but once you move it off the main area, then the sidebars come back. This is handy if you just want to write. There are add-ons and plugins for WordPress that can extend this editor, so you may end up seeing more buttons than this as you add things to your site. But this is the core of the editor.